Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm making this $8,000 oak slab table. So my brother found an oak table for $8,000 and he said, Can you make it? And I said yes without thinking it through. So then I got scared because I've never done anything like this before. So I have no idea if what I'm about to do is going to work. And I started by trying to find wood, because that's a good starting point. And in Sweden there's this great Facebook group where people can post what they have for sale and you can just go and pick it up. And now I'm standing in my workshop and I guess I need to start planing these bad boys down. It's gonna get messy. And I have this angle iron, so I'm just gonna use that to make my sled. Alright, so lesson to my future self. I should not be wearing a flannel shirt when using the angle grinder because I just caught fire. So I did one of the sides and this, uh, it's a total mess in here, it's so much dust, but I'm going to clean some of it up and then I'm going to flip this one over and do the other side as well before I get to, to the second slab. <laughs> Once the slabs were plain down, I could go ahead and cut them to size. For this I used my circular saw with a guide track and I was really careful to get the cut lines as straight as possible. Now this might be a good time to take a look at what type of table this is going to be. So the table consists of two slabs with a tiny gap in the middle. The legs are made from metal and a friend of mine, Simon from Nordhem Design, helped me build them and you should go check out his Instagram because he makes these kinds of tables all the time.
To keep the table flat, I'm inserting seat channels. It will add some strength to the table as well as prevent it from bending and warping over time. I sanded off the epoxy from the top of the table and then I installed the seat channels. I marked out the lines and then I used the router to cut the slots for the channels. And then I sanded everything to 120 grit sandpaper and then I could go ahead and apply the finish, which in this case is Rubio Monocoat Cotton White. When the finish was dry, I could go ahead and add some insert nuts into the table to attach it to the legs. I added my logo on the end of the table and it's done. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.